Welcome everyone, my name's Dom and I got a question for you. Have you ever noticed your computer or phone slowing down over time? Like one day you just notice your phone just doesn't quite feel as you know snappy as the, the first day you picked it up. You delete crap, you do a factory reset, and yet your device still feels slower than completing the circuit trying to reach a thousand subs. Or maybe you upgraded your device after the first year or two and threw your old phone into a drawer or something like that and you take it out a few years later and you're just surprised at how awfully slow it's become. Yes, yes, I know that Apple got into a whole lot of for slowing down iPhones with older batteries and not letting their customers know about it. But even on non-iPhones, these slowdowns are still pretty noticeable. And so today, along with my good friend Joe, What's going on? We are gonna try and find out why. And the results are, well, pretty bizarre. So let's get into it. Okay, so to start this off, basically my hypothesis is that as operating systems continue to add new features and new functions and they run, you know, more services in the background to be able to accommodate these new features and functions, that is Eh, more or less what is slowing down your phone, right? If you add more workload to a phone and not increase the hardware or do anything else about any of the other services, it's gonna slow down. That is the, the general hypothesis. So to test this, I picked up two iPhone 6s. They're brand new. I do the unboxing and everything like that. And we go through the setup and we work through the process. They're both running iOS 12 because unbeknownst to me, there are uh versions of the iPhone 6s that came installed with iOS 12, right? So when the iPhone 6s originally launched, I think it was like iOS 9, as Apple has continued to manufacture more and more iPhone 6s, well, they continue to update them. So that was a bit of a problem, but I thought, okay, no problem. Let me try to downgrade. Well, downgrading the operating system may actually affect the test results, right? Because that's not something that Apple allows you to do. So I thought, well, at the very least, we have iOS 12, and now we can go up to iOS 13 and iOS 14, so we can incrementally kind of see, uh, you know, well, like, well, does it slow down as we upgrade the operating system? And there's a problem with that too. See, with iOS 12 out of the box, you basically can only get your operating system, uh, the most recent operating system, iOS 14 in this case, activated. Apple wouldn't let me activate iOS 13 on the phone. I was basically stuck with running iOS 14 on the newer test case phone. So this test was very difficult to be able to prove anything. For one, well, I couldn't do the original idea that I wanted to do. And number two, there wasn't enough of a variation between operating systems to be able to <laughs> see like what would happen. So I did the best that I could and I ran the initial benchmarks on iOS 12 for both phones to get a baseline. And for the most part, they ran the same. However, before all that, the, the phones were dead, right? So these particular models were manufactured in 2018. And so since both phones were dead, I had to charge them up. No big deal though, we got them charged, we activated them, we got everything set up, and then we ran our basic benchmarks, right? But that was a little tough too, as there are not a whole lot of benchmark apps that run on iOS 12 that were free. I did eventually go ahead and buy the Geekbench app, and it was like 10 bucks, but it was worth it because I was able to uh, better curate the different tests. But at the at the start of everything there was one phone that was a little bit slower than the other one so that's the one that we left as ios 12 and then the faster one we upgraded to ios 14 because we didn't want the slower phone even though it was slightly slower to introduce any kind of weird variables that would make it slower right so the faster one got slower than the slower one then we would know that there's some kind of basis to the hypothesis and what we discovered was well it's weird you see there are numerous factors that affected the way the phones would perform for one both phones got incredibly hot that caused all sorts of fluctuations between the performances the internet speeds were abysmal when the phones were hot the benchmark results were abysmal when the phones were hot which i mean makes sense right the phone's thermal throttling and it's trying to protect itself and well, I thought to myself, okay, well then let's go ahead and try cooling them off. So I threw them in the refrigerator just for a few minutes, just to get them back to sort of a baseline temperature and then ran the test. And what I found is it's the same. It's the same. And what was weird though, is the first set of tests that I ran, actually the iOS 14 iPhone did run a little bit slower, but it was inconsistent. Actually, for most of these tests in the beginning, after updates, the tests were 
very inconsistent. So what I ended up doing was waiting a few days. I let the phones charge. I wanted them to kind of normalize. I wanted the updates to, you know, finish doing whatever they might be doing. I wanted the app updates to finish doing whatever app updates need to be done. I wanted the phones to kind of get into a normalized state. And then after that, I ran the benchmark test for GPU, for CPU, all of that stuff. And there was no difference, literally no difference between the phones. And I thought, okay, well, that's really peculiar because then why do older iPhones feel so damn slow? Well, these phones didn't actually feel slow at all. Both Joey and I were messing around with the phones for quite some time and neither of them felt slow in any way, shape or form. Actually, if you somehow could find a way to show me an iOS uh, 14 running on, on, on an iPhone 6S and compare it to a modern day iPhone, speed wise, I would be, it'd be very hard to tell. The operating system was very snappy. It was very responsive. I didn't notice anything weird yet i continue to see articles and stuff and people saying that their phones feel slow so i wanted to dive deeper into this i wanted to try to figure out what was going on i thought to myself maybe it was the battery gate thing well that setting was turned off on a lot of my older phones and even older older phones and older older devices that don't have that setting installed they feel slow and they chug about so then what else could it be? Well, maybe it's psychological, right? Like maybe what's ended up happening is as phones get faster and faster and faster, well, then, you know, we have this sort of relative speed thing that kind of says, well, okay, you know, it, it was like this was fast, but now that this thing is faster, we, you know, we normalize, right? We normalize to what fast is. And then that just becomes a standard. Anything that's less than that feels slow. And if, but if that was the case, then these phones would not have felt the way that they felt. They felt very capable. They felt very fast. They felt very usable. So then what else could it be? Well, I thought to myself, okay, then, you know, I do know that, uh, you know, storage devices do have a tendency to slow down as they get fuller and fuller and fuller with pictures and apps and stuff like that. But I have older devices here that have flash memory for their storage and they still feel slow, even though there's nothing on them. In addition, I have had phones that have slowed down that I've completely wiped and before even doing a system restore and restoring all my pictures and stuff like that, which I don't have a whole lot of, the phone still felt slow. So I couldn't figure that one out. So the next thing I thought is maybe it's the apps, right? So maybe the apps themselves, what they do is as you know, new hardware comes out and new operating system features come out, they just continue to update and update and update and update. And those updates, it's not the operating system itself that slows down your phone, but the the apps and the resources and the stuff that they want to be able to tap into with more hardware, right? There's more headroom, there's more processing power, more RAM, and they want to consume all that stuff, try to give you a better experience on your device. And no, that still did not seem to be the case. Both phones when installing uh, other apps and other stuff on them still seemed to perform fine. So what is it? What is it that it could be? I then thought, you know what? Maybe it's age, maybe it's use, maybe just as you know, as a phone gets old, it's just destined to happen, you know, heat and, 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 and bad use and all that other stuff just makes the phones slow down. But if, if that was the case, then, you know, this video by Linus a long time ago were her, his results. Well, no, there actually isn't an effect when it comes to heat. It either works or it doesn't. And while yes, the ability to dissipate heat will have an effect on your performance as things start to throttle still, what is it that's going on here? And well, at this point in time, the only thing that I can conclude is, well, more research is needed. I'm going to have to dig into this phenomenon because without question, I have seen Android phones and iPhones and Windows laptops and, and, and computers, TVs have all slowed down with time. And I don't know why that is because none of the factors that I can think about seem to be consistent with all of them in any way, shape or form. So. You know, there is there is one hypothesis that I have on my mind that might explain a few things and it could just be, well, it could just be a cognitive bias. See, there might be this tendency with humans to only notice when our technology slows down and not notice when we have technology that has continued to maintain really good speeds and really good performance and work really well, right? In essence, we only notice it when it slows down. And so we only complain about it when it slows down. It only sticks out in our minds when it slows down because I do have a variety of older technology that actually does perform really well. I want to do more tests because I can come up with plenty of devices that demonstrate the symptoms and then new devices 
that don't. So if this is something you guys are interested in, if this is something you guys want me to dig deeper into, please consider subscribing. I would love to do one for Android as well. I would love to do, I would love to get a variety of devices, especially older ones, like original packaged, you know, iPhone sixes and successes back from the day when they were launched. It might be a little expensive, but if there's enough interest in this topic, if there's enough, you know, interest in this whole idea of finding out why this phenomena is occurring, then you know what? I want to pursue it more and I want to pursue it for me. I want to pursue it for you. I want to pursue it for everyone because whatever is going on here doesn't seem to be nothing. There seems to be something just weird going on. And it's honestly, honestly, I really want to know. As I said, guys, please consider subscribing. If you're interested in this, please throw a like on this video. If you liked it, if there's anything else you want me to check any theories of your own as to what's going on, leave them down in the comments below. I want to hear, please consider sharing the video. I'm sure there's lots of other people out there that want to get in on this. So definitely share the video. It helps the channel out a lot. And as always talk to you soon.